When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Ali, Ali, Luama, Sabachthani, which means, God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the centurion who stood facing him saw that saw that in his way he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was God's son. If Jesus had refused the cross or, in the end, come down from the cross, that would have meant there was a limit to God's love. It would have meant there was a line beyond which God's love would not go. But Jesus went the whole way and died on the cross. Jesus made it plain that there is nothing in all the universe that God's love is not prepared to suffer for us. There is nothing that God's love is not prepared to bear. The plain fact of that love, that it was willing to die such a brutal death in all innocence so that we would never have to wonder if we are included in that love, that is enough to turn someone around. The centurion who has seen so much death and violence, who has been an agent of a violent empire under orders, not a follower of the God of Israel, he is the one who is turned around. He is the one who sees what that love makes plain. Let us reflect on God's love and suffering.